Okay, it is officially time to do the My Thoughts on Ezreal, <clears throat> the Prodigal Explorer? Prodigal Explorer, Kevin. Okay, his damage is mixed, more auto attacks and abilities. No. No, no. It's it's entirely middle. It, there, there, it's entirely middle. If anything, more abilities than auto attacks. Because yes, yes, he does throw out a surprising amount of auto attacks. I will give you that. But he still uses his Q more than anything else. <laughs> his difficulty is... Guess the one, um, I'd say it's slightly leaning more towards two, or like it, it's slightly up. It, it's not as easy as you'd think a one star is, but it's still really easy. <laughs> but it, it's still like there is a skill ceiling on him, or a high skill ceiling that like you can definitely tell between like a new Ezreal and an Ezreal that knows what he's doing. <laughs> Damage three, mobility three, yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's about it. He really has no CC, except for when he builds certain items, which make him a bit strong. Um, no defenses or utility. This is all true. Okay, a self-assured Piltoven explorer with an uncanny ability to find his way into and out of trouble. Ezreal travels Runetaria in search of adventure, armed with a magical gauntlet... Pro, uh, procured from the ruins of ancient Shrima, he seeks out the world's most cryptic mysteries. Ezreal fires bolts of ma uh, mystic energy, shifting through treacherous, uncharted places with a cocky grin on his face. <laughs> uh, okay, I like that. I like that. <laughs> I didn't realize that he found his gauntlet in uh, Shrima, and he's from Piltover. I was never really sure what, like, where he was from and all the things he did. Okay, abilities. Rising spell force. Ezreal gains increasing attack speed each time he successfully hits a spell, stacking up to five times. Mystic shot. Ezreal fires a damaging bolt of energy, which reduces all of his cooldowns by 1.5 seconds if it strikes an enemy unit. <laughs> this is stupid. Essence Flux. Ezreal fires a fluctuating wave of energy dealing damage um, to enemy champions while increasing the attack speed of allied champions. Okay, ability. Arcane Shift. Another stupid ability. Ezreal teleports to a target nearby location and fires a homing bolt which strikes the nearest enemy unit. <laughs> As I said, a little stupid. True Sot Barrage. Oh, that's what I said. Ezreal winds up for one second to fire a powerful barrage of enemy energy missiles which do massive damage to each unit they pass through deals 10 percent less damage to each unit it passes through okay so so how, how do i describe ezreal his passive is relevant but really not that big of a deal um like, with the increased attack speed, it really, it, it doesn't bother me. As I said, you'd be surprised how many auto attacks he does get out. But you see a lot more cues and mixed with auto attacks than anything else. Um, and, like, yeah, he will throw them out, as I, as I was just saying. But, like, they're... they're they're really not as much as you'd say. They do hurt a surprising amount as well, but still, it's kind of more along the line of watch out for his Qs above all else. His Q is stupid. Okay, so in essence, it's very hard to dodge. It has a very long range, and it's very annoying because it is considered an auto attack. And it has all the benefits of an auto attack, such as it procs anything like with Sheen, but at the same time, it doesn't have any of the bad parts of a stinking auto attack, such as Ninja Tabby will, you know, reduce the damage of it, and so on and so forth. It, it's really flippin' stupid. And for the longest time, I, I did actually know this before I read this, but I, I, for the longest time, I didn't realize that it lowered all of his other cooldowns, and I think that is ridiculous. Like, I can kind of understand if it lowers its own cooldown from landing it, but that's it. Like, really, it does not need to lower all of his other cooldowns, especially, you know, with his E. His W uh, is kind of stupid. 
but just his Q, his Q does a chunk of damage, even at early levels, and that's what I think is, like, the main problem of it, is that, like, it needs to... I, I think it should be much more, like, scaling-oriented, where early levels doesn't do a literal fourth of your HP, and then late levels, it'll really hurt, but it, it won't do anything insane. And I also think that they should change it to, um... So that it only its own cooldown is decreased upon um, hitting someone with it. And it's not all of his abilities or cooldowns are decreased upon hitting someone with it. It's it's really flippin' stupid. Especially if you already have 45% cooldown reduction. It's like, really? Really? <laughs> um, his W, as I said, it's really not that big of a deal. It, like... Because most of the time you see Ezreal's as ADCs, it really doesn't do all that much damage, even when he goes APC, meaning uh, ability power. It's still like, yeah, it hurts, but its scaling's really aren't all that great, and the attack speed that it does is reasonable, but it's really not anything insane. And because of that, I really wouldn't change his W at all. His E is dumb. Like, um, first off, it's a teleport. So... Even if you try to, like, I don't know how to really describe it. It, it, it moves him from one place to another. It's not like a dash where, you know, you can still be targetable. Like, he, he she straight up moves. <laughs> and you can't click on him while he's moving because, you know, he goes to a completely different place. And the fact that it hits you, too. That, like, it shoots out a homing bolt that you cannot dodge. <laughs> That, yeah, it goes to the nearest unit, so yes, it can hit a, a minion, but at the same time, it's like, it, it's still damage that is can be done to you upon engaging, and it makes it so easy for him to get out of any situation. It, it, it's really quite dumb. <laughs> um, I don't fully know how I would change it, uh, not gonna lie. Because I think that he should have some sort of mobility, and it probably should still stay like a blink. But I think that it, it's just too easy for him to just blink out of everything. Especially, you know, how you can actually hit him with forms of CC while he's blinking. And it will cause him to get stunned, but he'll still teleport the distance. And it's like, well, it doesn't matter that I just stunned you because you're in a completely different area. Like, if he can see that he's about to get stunned, he can hit his E... And even if you still get off the stun, as I said, he'll he'll just teleport to a different place. I think it needs to kind of be like Hextech Flash, where you need to click the location that you want to go, and then you will teleport there after a short delay. Um, like, you'll hit your E, and then after a second or a second and a half, then you will teleport to that place. Um, so that way there will still be, like, a second of you just not moving. Either that, or I think it should be kind of, like, a mixture of LeBlanc's ability, where, you know, she jumps in a distance and then she's capable of teleporting back, but in kind of, like, reverse, where he can flink, more like Zed's W kind of thing, where he can, like, throw out a little clone of himself, and the... And then he can use his E again to teleport to the clone. And upon teleporting to the clone, the clone will die and then shoot out the cosmic bolt that you fire from his E currently. Um, something like that. That way, you know, if you he throws out his E, you can place like some sort of CC in that area watching for him, but he would also be able to use it as like bait, like throwing out his E and the next like your Leona happens to alt where his E is, but then he doesn't actually teleport there until after the, the Leona alt goes off, causing her to have wasted that ability and blah, blah, blah type of deal. So, and then his alt I really don't have an issue with. Um, it can really badly hurt, but at the same time, it, it does do reduced damage for each target it goes through. And it's really not that insanely big of, like, a game-changing ability. It, it definitely can murder 
your team if it's used right, but at the same time, it's like it's really not that insane. So to do a quick recap, his passive I really wouldn't change at all. His Q, I'd make it so that it only reduces its own cooldown and nothing else. His W, I wouldn't change at all. His Alt, I wouldn't change at all. And his E, I would make it into kind of like a clone thing where he throws out a clone, then he can hit his E again to teleport to it. And then after teleporting to it is when it shoots out the little bolt. Um, so, yeah. That way you have, like, a bit more of a chance to get him because he can, like, throw out his E, then he can be stunned. And unlike his current E, he won't blink there anyway. That way you can realize that he's stunned, and so you can walk in front of him and be, like, between him and his teleport. So even if he does teleport to the clone, then you'll still be close enough to continue to keep hitting him or potentially CC him even further. Something like that. And then as I already said, his all to keep the same. And his skin. Okay, we got base Ezreal. Uh, Nottingham Ezreal. I think it's an okay skin, but it's basically just his base skin, just with like a different art design, honestly. <laughs> um, Striker Ezreal, I, I, just, I find it stupid. I don't know. All right, that's about it. <laughs> Frosted Ezreal. I think that like he should have more actual ice on him. I don't think his... It should just change his color scheme to blue and white. Like, put some ice on the dude. Um, Explorer Ezreal. Isn't he already an explorer? Like, I think this should just be called, like, Cave Ezreal or something like that. It, 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 it has a stupid name. He's already an explorer. Like, he, he's called the prodig Prodigal Explorer. So, how does he have an even more explorer skin, and this doesn't even look like a super explorer? Like, I, I, if they're going after, like, Indiana Jones, I could kind of see it, but, like, meh. I, yeah, I, I don't really think that's really all that good of a skin. I think they should either change the name to, like, Cave Explorer Ezreal, or straight up just, like, change the skin. <laughs> Pulsefire Ezreal. I think it's a cool skin. I don't think it's in like as good as the other um whatever the heck it's called like super expensive skins, but I don't really think it's that bad either. TPA Ezreal. It's it's a pro skin thing. I don't remember. There you go. Debonair Ezreal. <laughs> I like this one, but I think that the gauntlet is just like way too protruding. Like, I, I think it should be, a, like, simplified a little bit, but still stay, like, super techno and advanced. Ace of Spades, ever. I think this skin just looks really cool. Um, I very much like this skin. I, the only thing I don't like about it is that he's, like, the only one with a normal face in this. Like, <laughs> the, he has the messed up weird plastic face. He has, like, a corrupted evil face. She, her face is pink. Uh, but that's just kind of the way Cinder is, and she has, like, that. I, I wish he had, like, something on his face. <laughs> kind of changing him up. And then Arcade Ezreal, I think this one is a very cool skin. I like it very much, and I, I wouldn't change anything about it currently. And, Jesus, he has so many sins. Star Guardian Ezreal. Um... Honestly, the skin looks really cool. It, it does look good. <clears throat> Um, that's really all I have on it. How many skins does he have? Okay, we're not going to include the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He has 10 flipping skins. And I, honest to God, really don't even have any ideas for, um, more skins for him, honestly. Um... Yeah, I really, I don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to, like, think of uh, ideas for it, but I just, I blatantly do not really have anything. I guess maybe you could potentially do, like, a Shuriman skin, and, um, like, the point of it would be you would just, you just cover your entire body with, you know, like, desert material, kind of like Sand Guardian but more like Pike's new skin than um, anything else. Let me 
like it, it would be more like okay, not like this actually. He's way too mummified. Um, but like think of the cave explorer skin, <laughs> but with a little bit of like a, a, a Shariman touch. Like, think of, like, this, but as if instead of trying to explore a cave, he's trying to explore the desert. Um, it will change the gauntlet to, like, be like, it, it'll look like his original gauntlet, but more, uh, but with, like, the, a, like, a yellowish co uh, color instead of blue. And it, overall, it'll just look, it'll be, like, wrapped in kind of, like, maybe, like, bandages of some sort. And then, like, the rest of his body will just be, like, a normal explorer that's trying to go in the desert. So he'll have, like, his goggles over his eyes. He'll have, like, a little mask over his face to, like, prevent the sand from, prevent him from inhaling the sand. Cause, uh, it'll cause him to have, like, a, a not a jacket, but, like, a single shirt on with, yet again, as I said, like, the scarf kind of around, like, his upper neck and everything. And it'll be, like, a shirtless or a sleeveless shirt. That way he'll have the gauntlet on his left arm and he'll have, like, a single glove on his right hand. But then, like, his arms will not be covered at all from there. And then his legs will just be, like, a belt and then some sort of pants. So it'll be, like, a pretty simplistic skin. But it, it'll just, like, it'll fit the aesthetic and look pretty cool at the same time. And then, like, each of the abilities will have their own, like, animation from Shurima and everything. Something like that. I think that skin would be kind of cool, but that's about it. And with that, um, I have finished my thoughts on Ezreal. So, thank you all very much for watching. If you happen to know any Riot members, please inform them of my thoughts. <laughs> Uh, and the changes that I have made to him, maybe they'll like him, maybe they won't. I know it's only little changes, but nonetheless. So thank you all very much for watching this A to Z mini My Thoughts and Changes. And I'm going to bid you all adieu. Goodbye.